Friends, hello, welcome, welcome back to another three minute spoiler free thriller review. Today we are going to be talking about a classic. This is a classic mystery thriller and this is none other than And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Now this book was originally published just over 80 years ago by Agatha Christie and let's talk about what it's about. So I would describe this book as like The Great Gatsby meets Saw. There's a handful of total strangers who for one reason or another all find themselves together on a island story the mystery unfolds from there i i gave it three stars and let me talk about why first of all i just have to say it was really hard for me to objectively rate this book because i'm gonna be honest i was spoiled my advice to you is do not google this book do not look it up I, I, all I was trying to do was find the original publication year of this book and it spoiled it. So just keep that in mind. But all of that being said, let's talk about the things that I liked about this book. I thought reading this book was just super interesting to just get that glimpse into history of the 1930s, how different thrillers and mysteries were from that time. I thought that was just super interesting. I thought the premise of the book was really interesting and it did have a really juicy plot twist. I don't think I would have guessed this plot twist if I wasn't spoiled on it. So why did I only give it three stars? Well, first of all, I'm gonna be honest. I think if this book were published today, I probably would not have given it three stars. I may have even given it two stars because it had a few things that I really don't like. First of all, I don't like when a bunch of characters are introduced all at once at the beginning. And that's what this book did. It basically just introduced every single character in the first and it, it was a little bit tricky to keep track of everyone. So what I ended up doing is I ended up listening to the audiobook at the same time that I was reading this, just so I could hear like different voices for people and I could, it could help me differentiate. Now, the other thing I wish is I wish there were even more plot twists that were scattered throughout the book. I feel like there were some really good reveals, but I felt like it was still kind of missing something. I kind of wish there was just a little bit more of those plot twists. I think if there were some more unexpected things, that would have really added to it even more. So would I recommend this book? I would say Yes, I would recommend it. Uh, the good thing is, is it's actually quite a short book. It's only 250 pages. The audiobook is only six hours, which is pretty short for an audiobook. And you can get through this really fast. So I would say pick it up just for history's sake to read a classic thriller. I think it's worth picking up. But I'm gonna be honest, if this book was published today, I probably would not rate it very highly. But I don't know, that's just my opinion. Let me know if you read this book. If you have other thoughts about it, I would love to know your thoughts and that's it. Bye guys.